and good morning. We're here at the first location on Tempe Beach and the apartment is literally just there. A short walk down, which means for those of you who aren't as able, this is a perfect location to come shoot. So the plan today is to do some abstract style seascapes. Now this is something I've not done before. I live near the coast within a few hours, as I'm sure most people do in the UK. However, I don't have many abstract seascape images and I really want to build on that and learn and grow, which is always good. So I hope you guys take something away from this video. It's going to be something new and challenging for me as well. And what better excuse to get up for sunrise and see this beautiful location. So we don't have much time this morning. The sun is rising quickly. I've come down to the beach where I plan to use the sunrise um, in some of the images and get that ethereal um, motion um, and a little bit of color as well. So I'm gonna cut in through here towards the sunset, which is happening here. Um, and it's trying to use the, the light and the colors to your favor. If you were to shoot in direct sunlight, it can sometimes blow out your images and make it quite challenging. Um, however, when you've got this soft sunrise, it just makes the images a lot um, more sort of pastel colors, depending on the effect that you want. Maybe bright sunrise is what you'd like, but we're gonna start off with the um, pre-sunrise sun shoot and then see what develops throughout the next hour. So as you can see, the light is just kicking off. We've not had much time to prepare. I'm just going to go straight into taking some ICM motion photos. Now, how I normally do that is I'll set up taking a test shot, make sure that the colours, the aperture, the exposure is all correct, and then I'll pan the camera around and try and get motion in that image. So let's not delay because this is literally about to rise. Try and get those beautiful colours and see what we can create. Let's go. sunrise is really catching on the waves so as I'm taking the photo I start to the right and then I pan across to get that motion long there and you'll find that with photography sometimes the sun will just rise so when I got down to the beach I thought the sun was rising very much further to um, my left however looking at the um, sunrise app when I got down to the beach I've used a, um, a really good uh, sun tracker that's told me exactly the point at where the sun was going to rise I literally only had 10-15 minutes to set up so now I've switched over to my long lens now the reason for this it just means you can get really tight into shots we've only got this small gap of light you've got this little bit where it's coming up right before it was lost underneath the top cloud so i've got this long lens out i've got a cut in close to the horizon um, with the waves coming through and i've panned my image across as i've taken the image to get that nice motion blur and abstract feel settings wise for this one i've been on 125th of a second because the sun's risen we've got more light now f8 iso 400 and 
now it's just a case of snap and go and see what we can create. this stunning golden light coming through um, which gives us a lot more time to really focus on our technical and skill so what I'm doing is I'm going a lot closer into where the waves are I'm getting that motion and getting the yellow and blue light um, that's now coming in I'm also looking at the sand and how that sort of white frothiness of the waves coming in really is nice and smooth and almost contrasting to the colour of the sand. So it's quite nice to, using this longer lens, you can look down and pan across uh, to try and get those uh, ICM shots again. So now that the light has changed, we're using our long lens and we're cutting into the waves. I come here because this section of beach, you have a really nice uh, curve of the waves as they come in. The best way to time this is, as you see the wave building, Focus on that wave and continuous shot, so no timer, and try and get this curve to the wave just before it crashes. And that way you get that natural movement. You sometimes don't even need to move yourself or the camera, the wave will do it for you. So I'm going to take a few more shots here, try and see what more abstract, warmer light photos I can capture. And then hopefully we'll come back to this beach sunrise again. Um, 2.0 to see what we can capture um, with a different sunrise. It may be brighter then, it may be completely the same, you just never know with a sunrise, it can change every day. But you don't know unless you try. Now the sun has risen, we've lost most of that golden light that was coming through. But I think abstract wise, when we had that start of the day, that yellowy orange hue coming through, it was all systems go. And I feel like I got some good images there, some that I'll include in this video. But I feel like the best images really came when the pressure was off, the sun had risen and we had this nice warm light that came through. Um, it was like the first hour of sunrise when the sun had come up. It ducked behind a cloud and we had this lovely golden light bursting through and um, with some of the sun rays. So slowing down actually really helped. It meant I could practice some ICM because I'd gone straight into, straight into it today. Having not really done any practice or research, I'd just wanted to just crack on but the light was there I needed to react quickly but that's the thrill of the chase isn't it that's what photography is about you come to a location you've got that adrenaline going you've got the time against you um, you've got the pressure of trying to get the settings right and sometimes under that pressure you do create hopefully some good images um, so I've really enjoyed shooting here and just wanted to give you guys some different tips um, with regards to my ICM photography so I found that it's really important to get your focus right um, before you pan your images. So make sure that your focus is correct. Um, focus on the wave, focus on your subject, and then obviously pan across. 
um, slow that shutter speed down and have your ISO as low as you can to avoid too much noise in your images. Now, ICM photography is very subjective. It might not be your style, but it's also something good to have a bit of fun, try and challenge yourself, do something new. I am a very minimalist photographer. I really like abstracts. So hopefully some of these images will be impactful enough. Um, but I've really enjoyed shooting here this morning and wanted to share a couple of tips with you about what I'd learned um, this morning about slowing down, taking that time, um, taking the pressure off yourself. It's quite good to get the practice in. But then also on the flip side, when all systems are go, you might surprise yourself and, and produce a couple of good images. Sunrise part two will be coming soon. But I just wanted to slow the video down and take some time for some mindfulness. Appreciating your location is key. It's not only key for your photography, but it's key for your own well-being as well. Take a minute to focus on your breathing, focus on how you're feeling, how your day has been, have you managed to switch off and disconnect? Where's your next adventure going to be? Will it be the coast, the mountains? And what pulls you into that location? It's those majestic sunsets with an array of colours, the lapping of the water, the sound of the coast, even from the annoying seagulls. <laughs> down to the squelch of the sand and the seaweed beneath your feet. Remember to connect with your location and connect with yourself. It's important in order to get the best photographs Good morning! So we are here, this is another sunrise. Now the reason why we're here is because the first sunrise I did I feel like was very um, rushed um, and I fumbled my way through learning which actually under pressure was good. A couple of tips that I had I'd taken away, um, did handheld photography, found that very useful, uh, very challenging but I've come back after doing a bit more research. I'm going to take those tips and things that I've, I've learned and used um, and I'm going to put those into practice now. So I think it will give you guys a little bit more content and also for me it'll be good to try um, using a monopod or a tripod and um, a polarizer as well. Just a couple of things and also this is a different sunrise. We are at the same beach. House is just there, or flat just there two minute walk down and as you can see the tide is out whereas the other day the tide wasn't so you'd get different sunrises the tide can change the sky is different as well we've got some really stunning colors coming in here you can't quite see yet but we've got these yellows the waves aren't as strong but the water is a lot more reflective and calm so I think it's always worth persevering getting up for those different um, conditions and also keep trying. I think this is a good video to show that perseverance really helps um, so you're able to vary your shots. Use that experience, that under pressure experience <laughs> to get the shot and maybe this morning's gonna be a bit more relaxed. 
um, we'll see what kind of images we can create. But we've got a lovely reward after, some bacon sandwiches and a cup of tea, so let's get to it. What a beautiful sunrise. Just goes to show that it's worth getting up more than once. Now today, what I'm trying to do to improve on the other day is I'm using a tripod. Now, the reason I'm using a tripod is because you can easily pan and turn your camera as you have the shot. So for example, as I'm panning across, you can slowly move it. Freehand is good. You have more flexibility, but the issue of freehand is things are a little bit more sloppy. Whereas here, if you want that nice horizon line, which is what I wanted, I wanted that nice clean line of the horizon as the sun is rising. And to get that seascape beach um, abstract image. So I think I've managed to create that today. So I'm using my uh, 24 to 105. Uh, focus wise, um, Sort of opening up the camera like to as close as I can get to 105, um, or as wide as I can get to 105 or um, 24 um, mil. And the reason for that is that you get a variety of shots. So you can go close in to these sections here. We have this beautiful, warm, blue, pinky light. And then you also can go wide and get the full seascape in. And there's so much to compose here. You've got a lot of different compositions. And I've waited for the sun to rise because I knew that now would be a good time to um, talk you through my settings. The best time to take these images is before the sun has risen beyond the horizon here. The reason for that is once you start doing ICM in this beam of light here, the sun can become distorted. Um, it's kind of like a little circle squiggle in the sky. Uh, the lines can also be difficult. And it's very bright. You'd have to use potentially a 10 stop, um, six stop uh, neutral density filter to help. Today I have used a polarizer. And <coughs> I think the polarizer has really helped bring out the saturation of the colors. I'm using a, a Nisi one. So this is the Nisi um, polarizer which has always done um, well for me I found the colors are you know really pop and the composition is quite easy here you have beautiful golden light hitting the waters here these waves coming in so as they ripple it's quite nice to get close-in shots so going completely zoom in maybe use a telephoto lens like I did the other day it really helps and then finally you have these boats this line of boats along here, it's really fun to catch the light hitting the side of the boat with the horizon and the waves crashing in the foreground. 
So we'll see if we've got any compositions there. But I think today has been very successful. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Now it's time for me to go and have a sit down, have a bacon sandwich, and enjoy the sunrise as it comes up beyond the horizon. There's nothing better than finishing a photo shoot, coming back, having a cup of tea and a bacon sandwich. Very much well earned. Well, I hope you guys took something away from this video where you were able to learn something, um, learning on the go as I've learned, and hopefully the images come out well. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks so much for joining me this week, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Take care.